Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, as you can tell, that is another chainsaw. And before, you're, before you get upset about all these chainsaws that are here, this is actually a chainsaw that is um, pretty useful when it comes to small things or up in a tree, something like that. Um, it is a top handle chainsaw from Neotech. And how is that applicable? To cutting trees or anything like that there's a time where you have to use a smaller chainsaw and it's kind of cumbersome if you've got a big long you know regular rear handle saw it's just kind of cumbersome and so with a top handle saw it makes it easier to handle smaller jobs that might take a lot less time but also require a lot less space but, uh, so let's talk about this saw. It's from Neotech, as you can tell. And this is a saw that we actually purchased. Neotech um, will send us chainsaws from time to time and ask us to do a video on them. And so what we did here was this chainsaw became available and we purchased it just because we have one other uh, top handle saw and it does have some time on it. And it's getting to the point where you might do an engine rebuild or something like on like that on it and refresh it. This particular saw, it was so inexpensive, it made it easier to bypass doing the engine rebuild and just purchase this saw. It's around 150 bucks, I think is what it was. Currently, I don't think it's even available um, online right now. We purchased it several weeks ago and uh, we've made several trips in the last few weeks, month, month and a half, and uh, we've done some off-roading where you kind of need to take a chainsaw with you just in case you run up into something that's blocking a trail or blocking the road. Um, we took a larger saw and we took this small saw um, just to make it easy if you know we needed one or the other. But anyway, 25 cc's, it weighs around eight pounds. It actually comes with a 12 inch bar, comes with a chain also. Uh, you can see the tools that come with a typical kit from uh, Neotech with a saw. Um, but this one actually came with a funnel, which was a little bit different. But as you can see with this one, the filling ports were actually smaller on this. So the funnel's a lot more appropriate when it comes to that. Now we have used this saw quite a bit and it's, it's really convenient with a smaller saw. It just, it really is. And especially if you're up in a tree or if you're just cutting some brush down or something like that. A small saw is just a breeze to use. Now, this particular saw is 25 cc's, weighs about eight pounds. Um, they make them really compact. And when they're doing that um, with a top handle, if you're not familiar, most of the time on all top handles, your fuel and your oil are going to be on top of each other. So the fuel and then your oil containers are located on top of each other and it helps to add to the compactness. Um, that is typical of what you would see in a top handle saw. Uh, where the controls are located on this, also those are typically in different orientations when it comes to other configurations for other saws. Uh, of course you have your air purge bulb which you see right here. You have your on off switch which is easily located for your finger which makes it easier to turn on and off if and not that you want to but in one-handed operation it makes it easier to turn on easier to turn off um, what's really nice about this particular saw is the anti-vibe technology that they have in it as you can see in the flex of the handle i believe this is spring mounted here and this is rubber and spring mounted here also which is pretty nice, especially if you're operating with one hand, which I don't recommend that, but a lot of people will do that with a top handle. As you can tell back here, this is where your air filter is located at. Simply turn this plastic screw right here. This cover comes off, your air filter is right there. That also means your carburetor is there. And as you can see, this is your carburetor adjusting screws here, your low and your high. And this is for your idle right here. Um, go over here to the 
clutch cover, you see you've got two bolts here and it takes this entire cover off to access your clutch and your sprocket underneath this right here. Your inertia brake or your chain brake as some people refer to right here. It is also self-contained in this cover right here. Your exhaust, which is kind of nice, instead of being in the front, actually comes out to the side, the back of the saw. If you're used to a typical chainsaw, they'll come out the front of the saw. And sometimes if the log is big enough, then that exhaust will come up into your face. And that can be a little bit of a pain. So it, it's nice on these top handles. The exhaust typically is at the back and to the side of the saw. Um, on the bottom of the saw, you can see right here, this is the adjusting screw for the lubrication of your chain. And it is adjustable. I actually have it, have it turned to the lowest setting. That way it has the least amount of oil coming out because it actually works really well and it, it primes up and it has a good amount of oil that flows out of it. Um, back here on the back of the saw, again, this is your choke. All the way out is full choke. Halfway down is start if it's warm. And of course, when you blip the throttle, it'll go all the way down. And so that's, that's basically all the features that you have on this saw. In this video, we're gonna show you my uh, older Echo top handle saw using that saw compared to this saw right here. Now the Echo is a little bit about it. It is a CS355T. And so it's 35 cc's. It has a 14 inch bar on it. And it does have, I can't tell you the number of hours that it has on it, but it has a lot of hours on it. So it does have some wear and the power is gonna be down on it. But uh, as far as the chain's concerned, they both use a three inch, three eighths of an inch low profile uh, semi chisel chain. Um, the only difference is the length. This little Neotech has a 12 inch bar. The Echo has a 14 inch bar. So let's see how this little thing cuts.
as you can tell, that's how you operate a uh, top handle, a little bitty small top handle chainsaw. And it's, they're typically for in tree work, uh, but you know, you can use them as you can see here. You know, we cut this, this log over here. I think that's about a 10 inch log. That's got this huge Japanese hornet on it right now. Anyway, uh, but you would typically cut limbs that are between, you know, an inch to three or four inches. And uh, both of these saws do a fabulous job doing that. And uh, like I said, this, this little Neotex, the top handle, is, uh, it is practically a brand new saw. It's been used quite a bit, but uh, it, it might have three or four hours on it right now. Um, you know, they, they are very useful when it comes to small limb work and things like that, or if you're in a confined space, you know, a top handle saw makes it really convenient to be able to maneuver. And uh, plus they're very lightweight and that, that helps a great deal. Uh, something that I neglected to mention, what you will typical, typically see on a top handle saw is on the back, they will have a little tether point, which you can see right here. This is on the back of the Neo, Neotech where you can clip your D-ring or something like that. And uh, on this Echo, on the on this Echo, it actually has a uh, a hidden D ring on the back of it, and you would clip your uh, your tether on it, which you would typically you could typically hang your chainsaw from. But things like that make a top handle saw really convenient. You know, there is a video where I was cutting down a pine tree uh, in front of our home and uh, had to actually top the tree out because it's right next to the road, it's right next to a power line and this, that, and the other. And I was using a 16 inch chainsaw, full length chainsaw, and uh, they're very cumbersome. And, and you're gonna be careful anyway, but you really have to be careful whenever you're up in a tree, especially when you're handling a full size saw. Sometimes it's appropriate, sometimes it's not. When you're up in a tree on spikes and you're just hanging there, um, it's, it's pretty dangerous and that's not for everybody. But having said all of that, you know, there's lots of things going on. We always stay quite busy, both at work and our homework also. We've got lots of things that uh, we'll probably be putting some clips of some of the things we've done in the last few weeks and uh, what we've got going on this winter. We've got a lot of firewood that we've got to cut this winter. Some of this is firewood that we cut from the winter before. Um, Got a lot of firewood. We've got a lot of posts and, and fence we've got to put up as far as uh, rail fence and things like that. Uh, lots of sawmill stuff that we've got to get going again once it cools off. Um, lots of projects and you know, you've got your wintertime chores, you've got your summertime chores, spring chores, things like that. Uh, lots of stuff all the time. But uh, like always, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. Uh, Thanks for giving us a thumbs up. Thanks for commenting. Uh, we don't always get to return comments. Sometimes, you know, it's taken us a month or two months to get returned to a comment. But uh, if you leave us a comment, you know, we'll return them as, pos as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care and have a happy fall, y'all. Take care.